No matter who we are and what we do, all of us are doing everything based on six primal needs that have been wired into our brain over the centuries. I want to talk about these six needs with you and try to find a way to be intentional about what we do in, in different situations. The first need is certainty. Everybody, everybody wants certainty regarding their food, shelter, and other material resources, right? Um, some people, when they cannot control the situation, like what is happening right now with the, um, you know, the coronavirus, you've seen people going, at least in the United States, they all went to buy toilet paper. Why? Because they wanted certainty. They wanted to have the control over their life. They didn't know what to do. They were uncertain about the situation and all they could think of was to do something to get that feeling. So because one person somewhere said, we're gonna go buy paper towel or toilet paper, everybody went to do the same because they just felt that they have control and they can be certain about one thing in their life. They were, they were certain that they have toilet paper at home when this thing happens. Just because we are really amazing creatures, we have another need that is actually uncertainty. It's exactly the opposite. So we need to have variety in our life. We need to have change in our life. That's why we like to have different food or different entertainments or even have entertainments. We don't want a boring life that is always the same every day, the same way, right? We like to have some um, good surprises happening to us, right? Our third need is significance. Everybody needs to feel special and important in some way. People will see significance through uh, obtaining recognition from others or even themselves. Some people will get this uh, significance need by having others see their insignificance. So this is helplessness, right? So they see helplessness as power. Or if they if they ever done something, they they will show they will um, try to um, change the size and complexity of it. Fourth need is love or connection. Humans need to feel connected to someone or something, even a value or a habit or um, a dog or an idea. That's why some like that's why we sometimes label ourselves as athletes or yogis or um, book lovers and different things, right? Because we want to feel connected and loved. But the other side of this is that some people also show or feel uh, connected by being aggressive and. Um, if they have an ag aggressive interaction, they feel connected. They even feel loved. You know, they may fight because if you fight back with them, they feel that connection and that satisfies satisfies this need of them. So even argument, even arguing with someone, may satisfy the need to connection. This is crazy, but it's true. The last two needs are our spiritual needs, growth and contribution. Everybody and everything in this universe is either growing or dying. We don't feel spiritually satisfied if you're not expanding, if our capacity is not 
expanding. That's why, that's why we like to grow, we like to learn new stuff to um, satisfy this need. This is a beautiful need. And um, same as the next need that I want to explain. These two, they don't have a bad side because if you're trying to fulfill this need, these two needs, um, you won't hurt anybody. You basically give back to the community and the society. The last need is contribution. We couldn't survive without others, right? No, be, no baby is grown up without help of others, right? So similar thing is with our spiritual um, needs. So we cannot spiritually grow unless we contribute to others. So as I said before, these last two needs are very essential and they're helping the society and us at the same time. Now that we know our needs, we can use them and be intentional in any situation and think about our behavior and our reactions to this stuff and uh, decide and um, figure out why we are doing what we are doing. Is it because of our need to be significant or is it because of our need to uh, grow or to contribute? So if our needs, if in any situation we are doing something based on our growth or contribution, we can make sure, we can be sure that our reaction is good. But if it's based on any of other, other four needs, certainty, uncertainty, significance, and love or connection, we have to make sure that we know what we are doing. We have to um, see if that is hurting the other side or even ourselves. Most of the time, significance is very common and need that people seek and they do what they do because they really feel insignificant. We have to also make sure that if we are um, talking to some to someone else or if we are interacting with somebody and we see that they are doing something, we have to think about it and decide which of their needs they are satisfying, right? Uh, they have that need, for example, if they're doing something and they are feeding their um, significance, if it's something bad and hurtful and they're hurting us, we shouldn't let them satisfy their need with hurting us, right? So an example here can be if somebody is yelling at you and you get things done because of that, you should stop because you're feeding their need. As an, a real example, I had um, a boss and for a second i just thought about her watching this video but i don't care <laughs> i hope this if she's watching this it helps her uh, understand her need and uh, change it and don't do this uh, to other people so i had a boss that she would give me a lot of work and because i could do it fast and accurate she would give me even more and abusing me by even saying that I'm a slacker or I'm dragging stuff and I knew for a fact that I was actually really fast on doing these because I was in this uh, business forever for over a decade and it's if I'm doing something and everybody else is saying that I'm doing it fast and I know if it I know it's correct and you come to me and say I'm dragging it I know that you want to feel significant, you want to fulfill your need for being significant by being bossy to me and um, like abusing me or um, bullying me to get your satisfaction. So your reaction or my reaction at that moment should be not let her be satisfied with what she did. 
you have to talk back you have to do something to show her that you she's not getting satisfaction by um, me giving it to her right so if she feels satisfied next time she yells at me again or she yells at other people because of that because she thinks that she get that good feeling if she's not intentional she doesn't know that that's the need of significance right she just feels so good because that need in her is satisfied so make sure you know when you're um, interacting with others if they are bullying you maybe actually it's their need and you're helping it if you don't react to it if you don't show any um, you know reaction to it any good reaction intentional reaction so in that case actually when when my boss said that to me you know it happened before and i i learned from past experience and i knew it wasn't her first time either so i got back to her and i talked to her and i i told her so if you think i'm not doing this thing fast enough and i'm dragging it's fine let's sit together and i list and let everybody list their own stuff and see what we are doing and how long it will take for us to do it so if i'm doing like 100 things in the same time at the same time that people do 10 or 50 things of course like i'm i'm the best and you are the one abusing me right so that's what i did actually and um the the result was good for me <laughs> it's always hard it, it's always hard to do or change your behavior or uh, do something out of your comfort zone but when you get the the benefit of it when you see the result of it it makes you uh, more powerful and you know what to do next time so i hope this helped you guys and uh, try to um, think about your behavior in a day and list and give yourself a ranking which are which of the which of these are your top three needs and your behaviors are based on those three and try to move these needs toward growth contribution and love the the least one you want to have is significance that's the worst one that's the most destroying need i would say i hope you like this video and i'll see you next time bye